When facing breast cancer, it's a very frightening journey. There are three different types of primary types of breast cancer. You have ERPR positive, you have HER2 positive, and you have triple negative. Each one of these are treated a little differently. About 60% of all breast cancer cases are ERPR positive. So there's wonderful treatments. The success rates of allopathic medicine, chemotherapy and radiation are quite effective. By using cannabis along with that, you, we have found that people come through on the other side of their traditional treatments much more successfully, much more quickly, without missing some of their treatments because they're so debilitated from them that they have to extend their treatments, etc. I recommend that you start with a one to two ratio of THC to CBD. So for example, if you're taking 10 milligrams of THC, you would take 20 of CBD. You have to start low and increase slowly, just like anything else. There is no milligram per kilogram calculation that we can give you for cannabis. It just doesn't work. All the evidence we see in the research is it is not best dosed that way. So unfortunately, it does take a little bit more work on your part besides stepping on the scale and doing the math. But by having the ratio to start with, you know that you start and keep increasing. The reason that we say to start with that ratio is because we know that there are something called the ID1 gene. And the ID1 gene is what causes cancer cells to metastasize and spread throughout your body. And it, the CBD will aggressively intercept the translation or cancel out the translation of this gene that causes the cells to metastasize. The THC is necessary because of the way that it activates the, the CB1 and CB2 receptors to actually kill the cancer cells. So on an average 40-year-old female, your dose might be somewhere between 75 milligrams of THC, 50 to 100 milligrams of, of THC, and your CBD might be between 1 and 200 milligrams of CBD. I know this sounds like an awful lot, but when you're treating cancer, that's often what it takes. The older the patient, we found that the lower the dose is, with exceptions. We've had children that are on very, very high doses, so don't be afraid of it because, interestingly enough, when you need these high doses, your body will accept it in a way that it won't if you're just taking it uh, as a healthy person. So don't be afraid of the, the numbers wait till you get your scans back and see what's working. If you're only treating the side effects of the treatment for the breast cancer, when they start working and you're not having the side effects, you know you've, you've reached your therapeutic dose. If the one to two doesn't work, you can always go to a one to one ratio. I wouldn't go any further the other way though with a one to three or one to four. If you're not having success with a one to two ratio, the one that I would increase would be the THC, not the CBD. One of the things that's very important though is whole plant medicine, whole plant THC and whole plant CBD medicines work better than the distillate or the isolates that are being put to, that are being put out and marketed as, as products. They're mass produced. So you want to make sure that when you're picking your products, that you pick those that are made from whole plant. How do you know this? You ask to see the lab results of the medicine. Ask how it was made. Ask how what was in it. Ask who do it and do your research. You have to be more actively involved when you're selecting a product than you would if you're going to the pharmacy because as long as we don't have federal uh, FDA approval, we're not having licensed pharmacists, we have bud tenders that are giving you the medicine. The research that we've done on THC killing HER2 positive breast cancer cells and triple negative breast cancer cells 
are so exciting. In fact, in the case of HER2 positive, we have found in preclinical, now this is only in petri dishes and in mice and not in humans, but we have found from in a clinical setting that THC works as effectively as lapatinib, which is a targeted first round uh, drug used to treat many of these patients. Triple negative, we have found exactly the same thing. There is no targeted treatment for triple negative, and it's often the most frightening words that a woman hears as her diagnosis is that you have triple negative. But there is hope with cannabis because we're finding in petri dishes, in mice, and in our patients that are still walking around that using THC and CBD together is very, very effective in helping them to get to a therapeutic dose and have it be tolerable in such a way that they still have quality of life. So give it a try. See, you're gonna to have to get your dose. I would also start out with a one-to-one -one in this case, not a one-to-two. The ERPR positive, one-to-two ratio, with HER2 positive and triple negative, I would do a one-to-one -one ratio from the very beginning. Start low and increase as quickly as you can.